Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter. And in um, our readings today, uh, first from the Acts of the Apostles, we, we see the church growing. Um, and uh, all, the, all of the, uh, the disciples, uh, the growing numbers, and um, then we hear uh, about you know like the new the new uh, people b- being brought on board, and then a couple being selected for a special mission. And I think each and every one of us also, God through the Holy Spirit sort of communicates with every one of us in one way or another. Normally. You know, we hear God's voice deep inside of us, at our core, our conscience, if you will, our uh, our inner voice. God speaks to us in those quiet places and gives us all a purpose, a mission. Uh, you know, we've we've seen in Scripture how you know we're we're many, but we're one, and the many have varied in different gifts given by the Holy Spirit and those were all enumerated and, and talked about in, in scripture about some some are prophets some are <coughs> doctors, some are teachers some are, you know, we, so on on and on and on, all the different gifts and talents that we we each one give been given individually and just knowing that all of this is from God and so we're all given sort of a special path to follow and uh, so in in the Acts of the Apostles we hear the Holy Spirit saying to the brothers there uh, let me have Saul and Barnabas for a special mission that I've given them and so the other brothers laid hands on Saul and Barnabas Saul of course being Saint Paul and uh, Barnabas, we heard about him, the uh, son of encouragement, right? We heard that the other day, might have been yesterday or the day before. I, I've been asleep since then, so I have no remembrance of what day it was. But in any case, uh, they are singled out to, and we know of Paul and Barnabas, they traveled around the Mediterranean taking God's word to the Gentile nations all around the Mediterranean Sea and uh, quite a monumental undertaking, especially in those days when there were no flights out, there were no ocean liners. Uh, This was all done on foot and by sailing ship or, you know, paddling. Uh, (laughs) So quite quite a trek that... uh, Saul, St. Paul, and, and Barnabas uh, took. And, but like I said, all of us, all of us have that, that special call. And we also see, as I mentioned, the church growing. Even today, and it's good news, it's happy news, that the numbers in the church are growing again. Uh, we kind of turned a corner where the church was diminishing somewhat going through a lull, but it seems that the growth is coming back. There's more um, positive numbers in in the church around the world. So thanks be to God. And, you know, these peaks and valleys, are just the, the course of life, right? We, we have peaks and valleys in our own individual lives and in the life of the church, too. There are, you know, peaks and valleys, uh, high times, low times kind of steady as she goes times but um, right now we're in sort of a an uptick if you will so again thanks be to God for that our gospel reading today Jesus again uh, reaffirming that him and the father are intrinsically connected and when you listen to him you're listening to to God the Father. When you believe in him, you believe in God the Father, the one who sent him. And then 
Jesus says that he didn't come to condemn us. Even if we go astray, he's not the one that's going to condemn us. We, we sort of self-inflict that on, you know, co condemnation is, is a, a, a self-inflicted problem where if we fail to take the word of God and bring it to our heart and live his word, it's only us that separate us from God. It's only me that would do that for myself, to myself, and each one of you individually also. Um, condemnation comes from our own will. You know, we have to align our will with God's will. And then we don't have to worry about such things. So let's pray today that we are like Jesus and the Father, united um, one to the other here as church, as community. And we are united like we heard the other day too in the gospel. I am the vine, you are the branches. Stay connected to the vine. You know, and, and then again, you know, we're going to bear fruit and we're going to be okay. When we separate ourselves, you know, now, you know, we, we go through prunings, right? We, we get trimmed up a little bit. Going to confession, right? That's really the, the pruning process where we, we kind of get rid of the, the, uh, the bad parts that are hindering our growth and our, our fruitfulness. And so, but we don't want to get separated from that vine. Uh, we just want to stay healthy and happy and connected to our God. So we pray our evening prayer today on this Wednesday in thanksgiving for our gifts that we've received, our mission that we've received. We thank God for all the church fathers, the early disciples that carried the faith forward and kept it alive through the centuries all the way for us today. So. We have much to be grateful for, much to thank God for. And then we also pray for our own inner strength, our inner health, so that we hear his voice and heed his word so that we don't breathe condemnation upon our own soul. God's there for us. All we have to do is turn to him. Turn to me, O oh, turn and be saved, says the Lord, for I am God. There is no other, none beside me. I call your name. You may have heard those words, beautiful hymn at church. So let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The night will be as clear as day. Alleluia. O Lord, you search me, and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down, all my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it. O Lord, through and through, behind and before you beseech me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. O where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's farthest end, even there your hand would lead me. Your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I'll sit over here. It's less glare on my face there. The night will be as clear as day. Alleluia. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, to some of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand to finish. I must be eternal like you. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. I lost my place. See that I follow not the wrong path and lead me in the path of eternal life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You watch over heaven and earth, Lord Jesus. Your death brought light to the dead. Your resurrection gave joy to the saints. Your ascension made the angels rejoice. Your power exceeded all power. Lead us to life eternal and watch over us with your love. May your friends be filled with honor and join you in heaven. I know my sheep and mine know me, alleluia. His glory covers the heavens and his praise fills the earth, alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. Hey, you guys stay here. Charlie, Joseph, stay at Joe's house. <laughs> his glory covers the heavens and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners higher than the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
the disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia, when they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. God sent his Son into the world, not as its judge, but as its Savior, Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lonely lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God sent his Son into the world, not as its judge, but as its Savior. Alleluia. In his Son, risen from the dead, God has opened for us the way to everlasting life. Let us ask the Father, through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. God of our fathers, you raised your Son, Jesus, from the dead and clothed him in glory. Move our hearts to complete repentance, that we may walk in newness of life. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You have led us back to the shepherd and bishops of our souls. Keep us faithful under the guidance of the shepherds of the church. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You chose the first fruits of Christ's disciples from the Jewish people. Reveal to the children of Israel the fulfillment of the promise made to their forefathers. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Remember the lonely, the orphaned, and the widowed. And do not abandon those who have been reconciled with you by the death of your son. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You called Stephen to your presence when he bore witness to Jesus standing at your right hand. Welcome our deceased brothers and sisters who in faith and love hope for the vision of your glory. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Bless you, bless you. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. This is Penny, my little girl. <laughs> You're a good girl, Penny. May the Lord, don't we admit, got the closing prayer first, and then the, that blessing. God our Father, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, happiness of the just, hear our prayer. Fill our emptiness with the blessing of the Eucharist, the foretaste of eternal joy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and uh, 
blessings on your Thursday. Tomorrow is special feast day in the church. One of our evangelists, uh, Mark, St. Mark, feast day tomorrow. So we'll talk more about him uh, manana. Have a great night. God bless.